Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Holland America cruise experts. And today I'm on board the beautiful Koenigsdam. Now this ship is the first in the pinnacle class of ships for Holland America. And what I love so much about this particular ship is all the concepts that Holland has developed over the years, the things that people love. They've specially designed this ship with that in mind. It's a beautiful ship from top to bottom from a design standpoint. They have more specialty restaurants than on any other Holland America vessel. And what they've done with the live music is incredible. Those venues are phenomenal. We'll get down and show you those in just a minute. But they've taken everything that Holland's known for, great entertainment, food, and of course that incredible service. They've put it together into one magnificent vessel. Now we're gonna see every single public space here on this beautiful ship. And before we get to that, make sure when you're ready to book your next Holland America cruise, you do it right on hardtravel.com. You can take advantage of our interactive deck plans to pick the perfect room or suite for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now, if you wanna see all the different room and suite categories on this beautiful vessel, make sure you check that out on the hard travel YouTube channel. We have those as well. Now let's start right up here on the upper level of the Lido deck. Now Holland America is known for their Magra Dome. So this covers up completely. It's a retractable roof. And the big difference between this ship and their older vessels is that it is a lot larger. So the way they've been able to push the dome back all the way, it really doesn't even feel like there is one. It just feels like you have an open deck on this beautiful day here in San Diego. Now we're on the upper level of the Lido. This is a space used for different purposes. So you're gonna have loungers all along the sides here. You've got day beds as well. They even have little reading lights that are tucked over in the corner there. You also have these couches that overlook the pool area down below. In addition to that, when they shut the dome, they'll do the movies in the evening. So you have a really large TV screen over in the corner there. They've got the speakers as well. So there's lots of spots all the way around up here where you can tuck away and watch a movie. Or of course, on a day like today, you can grab a book or do a little bit of people watching. Now from up here as well, there's also a dining venue. You're gonna have the New York Pizzeria. We'll take you over there in just a second. But what I wanted to mention from that is they have a wide variety of late night snacks. So you can get popcorn, buttered pretzels, all kinds of different things that will complement your movie viewing experience. Now down below is the main Lido pool area. All around this, you're gonna have lights and speakers. They've got a bandstand tucked over in the corner. You also have some ping pong up there as well, but they can utilize this space for so many different reasons. Of course, they have movies, as I mentioned. You can utilize it for the pool, the three hot tubs as well, but they also turn it into a party venue in the evening. So you can have dancing, of course, with that live band going on. And then if you have a beautiful night, they'll leave the dome open as well, depending on where you are in the world at that time. Now down below, you're gonna have loungers all the way around the pool as well. You're also gonna have tables and chairs on either side where you can take advantage of the dive-in burger shack. We'll take you down there in just a minute. But as you can see, the design is next level for Holland America. They've really taken it to an incredible place. And from here, you can get a great glimpse at an incredible spot to start our tour. Now on the port side of the ship, you're gonna find the New York Pizzeria. So you can have your pizza right here on the bar or they'll deliver it. There's tables and chairs wrapped all the way around. Now this is more than just a pizza restaurant like they have on the other ships. What they've done is they've really elevated the menu and the choices. So you have a wide variety of breakfast to choose from. You can come up here if you want that bagel or my favorite, a breakfast bagel. You're gonna have sandwiches and pizzas. I always get that Reuben during the day. And then you can also get salads and desserts as well. Make your own pizza so you can build it exactly as you like. And finally, they have the late night movie snacks so that popcorn, nachos, fries, and well, can't go on a cruise without buffalo wings. So you can choose from that menu. So this spot kind of evolves throughout the day. Now from here, you can go the staircase down to the lower Lido level. We're gonna continue walking along to the Panorama Bar. So this is the main bar that serves this area. So once again, you can have all the dining options up here. You can get drink options as well. They're gonna provide service to all those cabana style areas on the sides of the ship, of course, for the food venue as well. And then you've got the bar seating wrapped all the way around. These bartenders have the best view in the business, looking out at those incredible panoramic ocean views. Now the Koenigsam sails all over the world, whether you're in Europe, Alaska, Hawaii, or Mexico, you're gonna have some incredible views. I love that they have these cabana style areas. There's not an extra charge for them. So you have these beautiful day loungers as well as the single loungers, and then you have some day beds as well. They're partitioned off with the, uh, the drapes there. So it feels a little bit more intimate and private. And of course, it's an incredible place to take in that scenery. 
Now all around the pool area, they'll have activities throughout your day. So they may have a golf chipping or putting contest. Maybe they'll do a game of cornhole or my all time favorite, a ping pong competition. I've cruised a lot, therefore I've ping ponged a lot. Let's see if we've got anything left there. Oh yeah, roof is in my favor. Yes. So now we're on the lower Lido area. You can really see here where they have the huge screen just behind me. It's a massive LED screen. This also becomes a dance floor when just above there, you have the band playing live music. Now, as we continue through the space, you can see they have really comfy loungers here. I like that they have the nice thick padding. They've got the towels out on the loungers for you. You don't find that on the entry level cruise lines. I really appreciate that. Now all around you have these beautiful candle lights. It's elegant here in the evening, whether they're having a nice party with well, some dancing and music, or they use it for a different activity. It's really the ultimate space for that. Now just behind me, you'll see the pool. I like that they've got seating all the way around where you can sit, dip your toes in the water to cool off. Of course, you can go into the pool and it's a pretty good size. Over here, you're gonna have two smaller hot tubs and a large hot tub. But from this angle, you can really see how the hot tubs, the pools, and all of the loungers are the perfect place to check out a movie. And then just above me, you get another glimpse of where we started the video up there. I like to have those little pop-outs, once again, for movie watching or just a social space to gather. Now, all along the starboard side of the ship, you're gonna have tables and chairs set up, also just set right behind the pool area as well. And that is for the dive-in. So the dive-in is a burger joint. It's absolutely delicious. It's one of those upgrades that I really appreciate Holland has done. This is all complimentary. You've got a wide variety to choose from. You also have some hot dog options as well, and they'll deliver it anywhere here out on the deck. I like that they give you the little buzzer so that you can come back and get it when your food is ready. Now over on the next side is gelato. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a place where you can get delicious Italian gelato. They have gelato popsicles, milkshakes, all kinds of different options you can mix to match. It is for an additional cost. Now, as we continue further on and we head over to the port side, you're gonna find the Lido bar. Now, this is a classic that they have on all the Holland America ships. So it is a bar. You've got this nice wraparound seating area and they're gonna provide bar service to this area in addition to all the seating and loungers around the pool. Now on the port side, you're gonna find some more intimate seating areas wrapped around the side, a ton of space to check out the incredible views wherever you are in the world. Now, I wanted to take you right around the corner here for a couple things that are unique to this class of ship. Now they have self-service beer. So of course, they're gonna do a great job for you here at the bar, some of the best bartenders in the business. And I just wanted to point out, I know I always say it in all of our tours, this is just a big piece of metal without the incredible crew. They put their heart and soul into their jobs. They're gonna make your vacation an incredible time. They love what they do and it really truly shows. So here you also have some self-service options. You've got the bar taps. So if you have the package, of course, it's gonna identify that, but you just swipe your card and pour your own. You got the beer mugs up above. And then over on the other side, they have the Coca-Cola freestyle machine. So you can customize as you like. If you want Sprite with cherry or something along those lines, you can mix and match all the different Coke products and flavors together. And for me, the definition of a luxury vacation is having what you want, when you want, and how you want it. These are two perfect ways that you can customize and self-serve, or you can head up to the bar and have them make you one. Now, a concept that's been really successful for Holland America is the retreat. So whatever category of stateroom that you have here on board, you can purchase one of these cabanas for a day or for the entire cruise. So if you get the cabana, you get access to the full space. So if you wanna step out and have a sun area, you can do that. You've got the day beds, you also have the loungers. They also have tables and chairs outside. So you can order off the Lido Marketplace menu for breakfast and lunch. You also can order off the dive-in and the New York Pizzeria menu. So you have a lot of choices, but what you get is butler service here. So they're gonna provide that and bring that service directly to you. So you got this nice piece of art here right in the middle. Well, since it's a Dutch ship, I'm gonna say that's Miffy. You're gonna have two day beds here, more of the loungers, and then on the other side, you have the tables and chairs. But really what this space is all about is having your own private outdoor space. Once again, maybe you take one of the Vista suites or even an inside cabin, you can upgrade to this so you have your own private space every single day and you can come out here and enjoy this as well. Now let's head into a couple of the different options. So there's two sizes. You've got a smaller and a larger one. Let's start out in one of the larger cabanas. So this is a perfect example of what you're going to get. 
So the day bed's made up here with soft and comfortable towels. You've got the towels, the retreat, bathrobes, and slippers. Over here on the side, you've got two chairs with extra comfy cushions so you can sit and read a book. Right here, you're gonna have your private dining table. So of course you can dine outside as well, but you can dine right here once again from breakfast all the way until late, late lunch. You can enjoy that. But what this is also about is the incredible views. This is one of the corner options here. You can look out both sides. You can imagine being here when you're in the glaciers, cruising to Hawaii or in one of the fjords in Europe. So here's an example of one of the smaller ones. So you're gonna have two loungers here. Once again, those comfy robes and slippers. You've got your dining room table right here in the middle. So not quite as much space, but you still get that exclusive access and the butler service. And you can utilize the entire sun deck. So if you wanna step outside and dine or use one of the loungers, you can do that as well. Now on deck 14 towards the front of the ship, on the very top, you're gonna have the sky deck. So what I like is it wraps all the way around. It's a giant horseshoe. You're gonna have those loungers. If you love the sun, this is the perfect spot for you. You've got all these lounge chairs with the tables right there in the middle. Now, once again, it wraps all the way around. So you can also see that this is the perfect spot to be in some of the most scenic parts of the world. Now, I usually go to the aft myself or the promenade deck, but depending on where you are, this could be a perfect option. In fact, from here, you can see the beautiful skyline of downtown San Diego just behind me. And we're gonna continue back just a little bit because you can see it wraps all the way around and they have a ton more of the lounge seating. Now, one other nice touch is that this is fully accessible. So the elevator takes you all the way up to deck 14. I noticed a lot on this ship that the rooms and suites, they have a lot of accessible options and they've really done a great job to pay attention to that with the design of the ship as well. On the top front of the ship, you have one of the most iconic spots that you'll find on Holland America. That's the Crow's Nest and the Explorations Coffee Shop. So it wraps around in a big horseshoe. On this side, you're gonna find the Explorations Coffee Shop. We'll head over there in just a second. This is an internet cafe, so you're gonna have computers all along the wall here. You also have a library tucked in the corner, so they have quite a few options that you can borrow from. Of course, return at the end of the cruise. They also have some other more uh, reference style material in there as well. Now, as we continue through the space, you can see it's a really intimate and comfy space. You've got games that you can borrow and utilize through here. You've got chess set up right there, the large couches and the chairs as well. And then let's head over to the other side. So here's the Explorations Coffee Shop. You can come up here any time of the day, and they're also gonna have different treats for you. In the morning, you can come up and get some croissants, then you have some brownies or maybe truffles later on in the day. So you have a wide variety of drinks to choose from. You see the coffee makers over here. They do serve it in that blue Delftware. I really like that, but they have a wide variety of teas and coffees for you to choose from. And then you can take them anywhere you'd like here as your large coffee shop environment. Now I mentioned that they have games, they have a wide variety that you can borrow and utilize when you're on board. They oftentimes have them set up or you can just check them out from right around the corner. So here's Monopoly, you've got Scrabble over there. And I look at those kind of things, I think of all the memories my wife and I have created over the years, playing games, doing puzzles, meeting new people in this particular space on board the other Holland America ships. Now you'll see this seating continues on. You've got tables for two and four wrapped all the way around. And then at the front, you're gonna have these really nice, comfortable loungers. They also have additional seating that wraps all the way around the front as well. So they can expand that just a little bit. Now, as we transition on to the other side, you're gonna see more of the same. Around the front here, they have these really nice large day beds. You can sit here and look out at the incredible ocean views in front of you. You also have these, this winding couch style seating right here, beautiful lighting up above. And then as we continue on to the other side, you've got more seating that wraps all the way around the front. You can take advantage of those incredible views. And then you've got some couches and chairs just in front of the Crow's Nest Bar. So you can see there's full bar service. They'll use this a lot of times for different gatherings and get togethers. Maybe it's a past passenger get together or something along those lines. Or of course, if you're hosting a group, we can coordinate that for you. But this is one of those spaces that you can utilize. I'll take you right around the corner to another, but you've got the full bar right here to my left. Now this is an intimate seating area, the last part of the crow's nest. You've got couches and chairs. You got another funky style sofa over there in the corner. They can open this up so it becomes part of the crow's nest. Or of course, if you're having a meeting, a gathering, or if they're utilizing this for an educational meeting, they can use this space as well. Up on deck 11, you're gonna find the dedicated jogging and walking track. I really like that they have that here. You don't find that on every cruise ship. A lot of times it's the same space that you share with loungers. So I really appreciate that. You can see down below, you've got the Lido pool just behind me there and it wraps all the way around. 
Now this extended area is all part of the sports court. So in addition to this jogging track up here, you're gonna have different kinds of fitness equipment that you can utilize on a circuit outside. So you can walk all the way around the deck. Here's one example here. You've got these runners, kind of like an elliptical. You've got an ab station over to the side, and then you have another one of the elliptical running machines over here. Now let's continue to head aft and we'll head to the sport court. So on deck 11 in the middle of the ship, you're gonna find the sports court area. So there's a full basketball court here. You see they also have soccer nets as well. Sometimes you see the crew members up here having a great game in the evening. You've got it to set up for pickleball. And then on either side, they have the stadium style seating. All right, let's check out if I've still got it at all. Yep, nope, not so much. All right, it came back to me. Ah, there we go. Let's check and see if that bank's open. My dad's a basketball coach for nearly 40 years, and if he taught me anything, always use the bank. It's open today. I like it. Now we're getting ready to head into the Lido Market Artisan Food. So they've kind of combined the concept of a food hall and a buffet together. You have Homestead Handcraft Classics. You've got Breadboard, which is where you're gonna find all the sandwiches and bakery goods. Worldly Dishes, where you'd have different Asian cuisine and cuisine from around the world. Sweet Spot, which is the bakery and creamery. Wild Harvest, where you can have salads that are pre-made and you can customize your own. Classic Prime Cuts is the roasting pan, so you're gonna find all of the delicious meats. I think they have prime rib here tonight. And then Quench is the drink station, Perk is the coffee station, and finally Rise is the baked goods. So you can see there's a little bit of something for everyone. Let's head on in and I'll show you the space. First stop is the hand washing station. I love that they've installed these here on board. The first time I saw it was actually on a Disney cruise where they had it going into the kids club. But all you do is you stick your hands in there and it actually sanitizes. So you've got soap and water, you put it in there. It's kind of like a little bit of a car wash for your hand. It does all the work. And then once it's done, it's gonna go ahead and stop. Then all you gotta do is you pull your hands out, dry it off. It's a really easy way to wash your hands. I love that extra level of sanitation. Now let's head into the main part of the space. Now this is at its heart, it's the casual eatery buffet option. So all along the sides here, you're gonna have the different seating. They've got tables for two, four, eight, and bigger. They've got the booth style seating, looking out at the incredible ocean views. Now once we get into the main part of the Lido, you're gonna see the different food options. I'm gonna start with the dessert station because that's what I do. You've got all kinds of different desserts to choose from tonight. You've got the coffee and drink station over to the side. Now there's a couple of them throughout. Now there's two sides to this. Right now this side is open. They'll have both open a little bit later. So first up is Rise, you can get the baked goods. They've got that classic bread pudding that of course Holland America is known for and some cobbler. Next up is Homestead. So these are those classic options. You're gonna have mashed potatoes. You got fried chicken, rice, meat, spaghetti and meatballs in there as well. Different beans and vegetable dishes. And then of course all the toppings you can customize. I think I'm coming back for some of those lamb chops in just a little bit. Next up is the breadboard. So they have sandwiches that are already made for you. They have a wide variety of cheeses and breads as well. They've got the panini station there so they can make one for you. Got that cheese bread, Whew, that looks really, really delicious. Next up is Wild Harvest. This is where you're gonna find the salads. So they have some ideas for you here, like a chopped salad, cob, chicken Caesar, or Asian sesame with seared tuna. But you can also customize it and make the exact option that you personally would like. So they have a wide variety of options that you can top off there. Next up is the roasting pan. So the roasting pan is the classic prime cuts of meat. So you've got the prime rib right here in the middle. That looks delicious. I'll definitely be back for that in just a minute. You got some Yorkshire pudding there, different kinds of breads, sauces. You also have some pasta dishes over in the corner and those grilled mushrooms. And then we're gonna head to distant lands. So this is where you're gonna find tonight some different Asian style foods. You've got those Thai style spring rolls there. They had sushi earlier in the day. They have a couple different Asian dishes to choose from there. And then right here, you can actually make your own stir fry. So they've got shrimp, chicken, beef, a couple different options here where you can mix it up and then all the different vegetables. So it's kind of like that, uh, that Korean barbecue stir fry concept for you. Next up is Perk. So this is one of those beverage stations. I talked about the other one there just a minute. So you've got complimentary coffee and tea anytime during the day. You also have the water station there. And then just across, you're gonna find Quench. So this is a bar. The bar is gonna provide service for the full Lido marketplace here. They've got the coffee machine right there. They got beers, wines, full bar. So once again, you can order from your table or you can head up here as well. Just behind me, you'll find the wide variety of teas that they have here on board. I really like that they have a ton to choose from. 
Now as we continue heading back, they actually have another hand washing station. So if you're coming back in from the pool area, of course you can utilize those here. They have more seating on the side. And once again, the opposite side is identical. A ton of different seating options. You got the high tops, the tables, the booths, the chairs. If you want a casual eating option, you can come up here and grab a sandwich. You can have a full meal. Or if you're like me, you can kind of supplement your meals in between with a little bit of snack before you head to the dining room or a specialty restaurant. Now I started with a little bit of dessert. I'm gonna end with a little dessert because that's just how I roll. Right over here is the other sweet spot. They're gonna have a wide variety of ice creams here. They have soft serves so you can pick and choose as you'd like. All of your favorite cookies. In fact, I just finished one. And I'm gonna have another one in a minute. But to me, what it's all about is the crepe station. So they have two crepe stations right here. You've got all the different toppings that you wanna put on there. Ooh, that looks really good. You've got the whipped cream there, some caramel. Looks like some mixed berries, and I well, saw her making some hot fudge just a second ago. You've got different kinds of options here as well for desserts, but a nice fresh crepe is an incredible way to have, I don't know, after breakfast, lunch, dinner, late dinner, early dinner. I think you have a crepe just about any time. Now, everybody loves Italian food, so they've added on Canaletto, an Italian specialty restaurant. So it's just for dinner. It's not too much of a surcharge, but I love that it's elevated Italian cuisine. So if you wanna to get together with a group of friends or a couple, this is sitting right on the starboard side of the Lido Cafe, right when you walk in. So you, during the day, you can utilize it as part of the Lido as well, but in the evening, it turns into an Italian restaurant. You see you have all the booth and bench seating just behind me here. You've got tables for two and four, looking out at the incredible ocean views. But if you wanna elevate your dining experience and you love Italian food, make sure you give it a try while you're here on board. Just after the Lido Marketplace, you're gonna find the Sea View Bar and Pool. This is one of those signatures of Holland America. You've got a nice large pool here. It's pretty deep, which I really appreciate. It's six foot eight, so I can actually be fully submerged in there. I like the seating all the way around the side where you can sit, put your toes in the water to have a nice refreshing dip. Or of course you can get in the pool or the two hot tubs as well. You're gonna have the bar over in the corner so you can sit at the bar and look out at the incredible ocean views. And then on either side, they have lounge seating and you also have tables and chairs. So if you wanna extend the Lido Cafe out to this area, of course you can do that as well. So as I get further back, you can see those hot tubs just to the side. They have showers out here so you can shower off before and after. And then as we continue all the way back, I just wanted to point out there's more seating up on top. So that's on deck 11 up there. Also on deck 10 just above, there's staircases that go out over the water. It actually has a clear glass floor on that. So you can head on up and use that for sun loungers as well. Now, as we continue all the way to the back, they'll use this space for different functions, for different parties and get togethers. And of course you can utilize it throughout the day. You've got the lounge chairs that sit in the back, look out at the incredible ocean views. And then on either side, you have a little bit of a viewing platform as well. This is another one of those great locations to go when you're in the glaciers in Alaska, or maybe you're in Hawaii, checking out some beautiful scenic cruising or anywhere in the world. Now we're inside my personal favorite specialty restaurant here on board. It's a combo of Nami Sushi and Tamarind. So Tamarind's gonna present to you a wide variety of different dishes that come from all over the Asian world. So you're gonna have different things like a Penang curry. You'll have a variety of different Japanese, Thai, Chinese, different kinds of fusions in there. And I love that you can mix and match from a huge menu. In addition to that, you're also gonna have Nami Sushi. So in the corner here is the sushi bar, which is, well, my second home. You're gonna find me here every single day. Let's wrap around the corner. You can see you've got the seating right at the sushi bar, two incredible chefs just behind here, creating some of the best sushi at sea. You can see the beautiful fish right there. I love sitting, ordering, having that little bit of an interactive experience. Now, as you continue through the space, it's a beautiful space. You've got booths like the ones just tucked to the side here. You've got tables by the windows, tables for two, four, six. They can put it together for larger parties as well. Now, in the main part of the restaurant, keep in mind that you can order from the sushi menu or you can order from the tamarind menu as well. As we work through here, you can see they have more of the large tables with the booth style seating. It continues all the way along to the other side until we get to the tamarind bar. Now in the Tamarind Bar, you've got this lounge seating area. It goes all the way down to the back. It's that perfect place to grab a cocktail before or after your meal, gather with friends, or of course you can sit at the bar. Now the bar is gonna provide service, not just to the bar area here, but to the entire restaurant. 
You can even come to the bar, you can grab a drink, and you can order from the Nami Sushi menu. So you can enjoy that throughout. I love that they have that option here. And of course, being an Asian restaurant, they have a wide variety of different kinds of alcohols. My favorite is a huge variety of sakis. They've got custom and signature glasses that you can choose from. Whatever it is that you pick, the bartenders are the best in the business. They're gonna keep you smiling. They're gonna keep the drinks coming, and then you're sure to enjoy an incredible meal. So now we're headed into the greenhouse spa and salon. This is a full service spa and salon, so all those treatments that you love at home, you can get here on board, a perfect way to rejuvenate yourself, relax and enjoy your vacation. Now they have a full Medi Spa experience here if that's something that you're interested in, in addition to all the different massages, facials, ionothermy treatments as well. Now we're starting off right here in the reception. So this is where you're gonna check in. Also on the first day, it's where I recommend you come up to check out the tour of the spa. You can see all the different areas. You can book your treatments as well. Some of the ones do go fast, especially on sea days. So you may wanna check that out as soon as you get on board. They also have a wide variety of retail options that, with, that they partner with Elemis on that you can get duty free. So if that's something you're interested in, you might wanna check that out. First up, let's head into the barber shop. So this is a full barber shop experience. So they've got this set up for the gentleman in partnership with Elemis Men's. You've got two seats right here. You've got the hair washing station right there in the middle. And this is where you can get all the different barber shop and haircut and shaving treatments. Now we're gonna head over to the opposite side. Now on the other side, you're gonna find the full service salon. So whether you wanna just get ready to go out and have a night on the town here on this beautiful ship, or you wanna get a revolutionary haircut, styling or coloring, they can do that here on board. So you've got the hair stations right here. There's a couple of them. The hair washing stations tucked just behind me. Right over here is where you're gonna find the teeth whitening. So that's another option that you can do here on board. And then wrapped around the corner, you've got the pedicure station. I love that, that you're looking out towards the ocean, even big enough for these giant size 15 feet, so I appreciate that. And then you also have the manicure station just in front, so you can work your way around to have an incredible spa day here on board the Koenigsdam. Now, right in the middle of the spa, you're gonna find the gents and ladies changing rooms. So this is where you'll come before or after a spa treatment. So you can have your own locker here. You can change, get ready. They're gonna have the nice comfy robes on one side. They've got the towels on the other side. So in here, you're also gonna have hair dryer stations. You've got a sink over on the other side to get ready. You've got the toilet tucked just around the corner. And then as we continue along, they've got, ooh, that dreaded scale. I try to avoid those at all costs, especially on a cruise, but I guess I could weigh myself on the first day. Eh, anyway, as we continue on through, you're gonna have showers on either side. You got a nice bench seating and then an area to change and head on out. So the next step on your spa journey is the relaxation room. This is where you're gonna come before your spa treatment, after your spa treatment as well. They've got infused water over in the corner, different kinds of teas as well. The idea behind it is just to get yourself in that zen mindset so you can really absorb the treatment, get the most out of it, and really get relaxed. They've got these loungers all the way along here, really nice and large ergonomic loungers. And then on the far side, you're gonna have these chairs as well, always looking out at the incredible ocean views. In the spa area, you're gonna find two complimentary saunas. So there's one for gentlemen, one for ladies. You can utilize this throughout your stay. Unbelievable, beautiful ocean views here. So you've got that stadium style seating as you always would up top and then one down below, another bench seat here. Once again, taking in those amazing views. Now the same thing is next door for the ladies. And then right over here, you're gonna have the bucket plunge. So it's got a nice ice cold bucket that pulls the water on you, very refreshing. And then the rainforest shower head tucked around the corner. Now, if you're booked in one of the spa suites or rooms, you're gonna get complimentary access to the thermal suite, or of course, you can purchase a pass for a day or for the entire cruise. Now, those do go pretty quickly. I always do it myself. This is a spot that you can utilize for rejuvenation and relaxation throughout your cruise. You have all of these different hot stone loungers. I love, love them. It's nice and heated, so it's perfect for your back. You can relax, take in the incredible panoramic ocean views from here. And then there's several other parts of this circuit. So over here, this is something that I actually haven't seen before. I think it's really, really cool. It is a horizontal shower. So you have different settings where you can lay and you have shower heads all along the top here. As we continue on through the space, just through the door here, you're gonna find a pretty unique feature. It's an infrared sauna, but it has the, the unique individual infrared panels. So there's two on this side, two on that side as well. And as you constantly go from warm to cold, you can invigorate the body. 
and right over here, that's one way to do it. So you've got the plunge bucket. When you pull on it, you get that nice, cold, refreshing feeling. And then you can step right around the corner here. This actually is a shower. There's another one. And right over here, you're gonna have an aromatherapy steam room. So they usually have eucalyptus or lavender or something along those lines. So you get the steam and of course the aromatherapy as well. Now we're gonna continue along in the space. And next up is the steam room. So you have an extra large steam room. This one does not have aromatherapy. It's a really large space here, wraps all the way around and then you've got that beautiful ocean view as well. Now on the other side, you're gonna have another plunge bucket. This one is actually accessible, so you can roll right in here. And then right around the corner, they're gonna have two showers. So you've got a regular shower, you also have an accessible shower as well with a shower seat. Another nice touch that Holland has gone out of their way to do. Next, let's head into the hydrotherapy room. Now we're inside the hydrotherapy room. So this is the last part of the thermal suite. You got a huge hydrotherapy pool here. You've got the bubble loungers all the way around. And then they have the different jets that you can use. I use it on the last cruise for my back and neck a ton and I loved it. So you've got seating all around. You can come in here. It's a nice, warm, humid environment. So you can utilize the seats all the way around. They've got showers as well. And then of course, the large hydrotherapy pool right here in the middle. So now we're inside one of the single treatment rooms here. They have a wide variety of different massage options. You get that deep tissue, relaxation, mix and match, and you can do a shorter treatment or a much longer one. My all time favorite is the hot stone massage. You've got that tucked over there in the corner. But once again, in addition to that, they have hydrotherapy, they have different medi spa treatments. There is a huge amount of choices to choose from. Now let's check out one of the double treatment rooms. Now we're in one of the double spa treatment rooms. You can imagine sitting here, getting one of those hot stone or other types of massage with your partner. It's the perfect spot for that. It's a wonderful way to celebrate romance and relaxation, which you put those together. To me, it's one of those things that cruising is all about. Now in here, you're gonna have double the equipment. So of course you could both get a hot stone massage. You're also gonna have two rainforest showers on either side. So you can see this is a great way to spend an afternoon on your cruise. Now this treatment room is for acupuncture. I love that they have it here on board. I utilize this at home all the time for pain management, other different treatments as well. You can see they've got the chart here and they always have an acupuncturist here on board, a medically trained professional, just another option that you can have to enhance your vacation experience. Now, if you're all about the fitness, you're gonna love the fitness center that they have here on board. It wraps around in a large U shape. Right here, you've got the Smith machine behind me. You got an ab workout over on the other side. And then you have a wide variety of different circuit machines. Now wrapped all the way around the front of the ship here, you're gonna have the different aerobic options. So you've got a stair stepper here. You're gonna have ellipticals over there and then wrapped all the way around, you'll see more of the treadmills. Now over on this side, you're gonna find the free weights, the dumbbells. You also have some barbells around the corner as well. You got the different medicine balls, kettle balls or kettle weights, they have a large variety of different options. Now all through the middle here is your circuit workout. So you've got biceps, triceps, leg, seated leg curl, and then all along the back, you have the back and upper arms as well. You've got the leg press, so you can do that full circuit workout. If you do it at home, you're gonna wanna continue doing it here, or if you just aspire to do it at home, you can do it here on vacation as well. Now on the far side, they have a couple different machines. They've got the hand pedal machine. You're also gonna have the seated bikes. And then you also have the sit up bikes as well. More of the barb or the dumbbells right here. And then tucked just around the corner, you're gonna have a couple more bike options. I really like these because they've got the big screens and you can emulate cruise or riding through any part of the world. But of course, it's all about the amazing ocean views in here. So however you utilize the aerobic space, you can check out the world around you wherever it is you're sailing. Now, if you're staying in one of the spa rooms or suites, this is the stairway that heads right up to your room. Now, if you wanna see what those look like, you can check them out on the channel. We have all the different spa rooms and suites and all the rooms and suites for the entire ship. Now let's continue on through the fitness center. So there's two fitness and aerobic studio rooms here. This one currently is set up for TRX. They do yoga in here. They do all kinds of different aerobic exercise activities. They've got yoga mats. They also have the foam rollers. I'll love to come up and utilize that to roll out my back and well, just relax here on vacation. And let's head around to the other side to the spin room. 
Now this fitness studio is set up for spin. So you can see you have all the different bikes here. You've got the instructor just up front. You got the TV so you can have that competition going on. Exercise to me is always more fun when there's a little bit of competition involved. They've got the shoes over to the side that you can utilize throughout your time here. So you can see utilizing the classes, the fitness center, the spa, there are all kinds of different options here on board for health and wellness. So now we're headed into Club Hal. This is the kids club on board. These are for kiddos age three to 11. There's two different spaces in here. We'll show you that in just a second. But right here is the main check-in desk. So it's really important the very first day on your cruise, you wanna come here and check in. They're gonna make sure that they know who the parents are, who can pick up and drop off the kids. You're gonna to wanna to authorize that. Of course, safety is paramount. So you'll meet with them here. And then anytime that you drop off or pick up the kiddos, you'll come right here. Now we're gonna head into the spaces. Now we're gonna check out the spot for the youngest cruisers, the three to six year old. So in order to have a kiddo here on board to be dropped off in this area, the kids do need to be at least three and potty trained. They're gonna have all kinds of incredible activities for them throughout the day. So in addition to being a fun space, so they're gonna have all kinds of different arts and crafts. You see they have books set up there. You've got Legos over here as well. You've got the different craft stations. They've got the huge bean bags over here for movie time and the screen tucked around in the corner. So in addition to having all of that, they're gonna mix and match education and fun together. They've got the restroom right here. I love that it's the size for the kiddos. They've got the hand washing station once again, very carefully created for the three to six year olds. So now we're in the space dedicated to the seven to 12 year old. Sometimes it's seven to 11, depending on the cruise. It's a really large space in here. So you've got the small tables. Once again, they'll do arts and crafts. They'll play games. They'll have different kinds of competitions. You've got all along the wall, you've got a ton of video game stations. So it looks like they've got Xbox Connects over there. And then the huge screen in the middle where they can do different kinds of dance competitions. As we continue on, you're gonna have foosball table here. You've got air hockey on the far side. You've got another movie movie station set up around the corner on the other side there. But you can see there's quite a bit of space dedicated to the age group. For the teens and tweens, you're gonna find the loft. So in here, they're gonna have different kinds of games going on. So you've got these nice lounge seating areas. You've got foosball over there. You've got a video game stations tucked in the corner. Right here, you have a massive screen TV where they'll do movie time. They'll also do different kinds of competitions. You've got the Xbox Connect set up here. It's also a dance floor, so they'll do different dances and things along those lines. I was a middle school teacher for 10 years. I love the idea that they've dedicated so much space to teens, tweens, and of course, all the kids, because if every single member of the family is happy, you're gonna have an incredible time on the cruise. Now, it's really the crew here on board. It's those counselors that are in here that make it happen. They are amazing. They love Love what they do, they love working with kids, and they really do take it to the next level. Now there's one more space I wanted to point out, they've got a small outdoor space here as well. So here's the outdoor private space for the loft, you've got a couch over there, a large one here, they'll bring out different bean bags and furniture as well. You can see they have the Connect 4 game, they'll do different kinds of fun activities. But once again, what it's all about is engaging kids where they are. So meeting them where they are, whether they wanna do something left brain, right brain, they're gonna have all kinds of activities, all kinds of fun lined up for them. And then of course, you're on a cruise exploring some of the most unique and beautiful spots on the entire planet, perfect for every member of the family. So now we're just inside the Neptune Lounge. This is one of those perks that Neptune and Pinnacle Suites will have access to. What it really is, is an extension of your living room. It's a great social space. It's a great place to come, sit, read the newspaper in the morning, meet new people. They've got all kinds of different games, so you can play games. We always do a couple puzzles here on board. You've got the TV as well to watch different sporting events and things. And then they're also gonna have a library that you can borrow from. But if you look around at the decor, it's meant to be like an extension of your living room. You've got the large couches and the chairs. And then as we continue through the space, another large couch here, more of those chairs. You're gonna have two different setups. So you've got a computer that you can utilize here throughout your stay if you need it. And then over here is the concierge desk. So the Neptune concierge is gonna be able to make reservations for you, answer questions. Basically, if you need it here on board the Koenigsdam, they can take care of it for you and they can up the level of service to the next level. Now the Neptune suites, in addition to being beautiful spaces, are gonna get all kinds of those different upgrades. So you get specialty breakfast and dinner in the Club Orn Dining Restaurant. You're also gonna get upgraded amenities in the room, priority embarkation, tender service. But for me, the concierge is one of the best amenities because they can really enhance your experience from start to finish. 
Now let's check out the rest of the lounge. This of course is Taylor's favorite spot. You've got your teas set up here so you can get a nice cup of tea. And then they also have the espresso maker. So if you want a cappuccino, a latte, this is complimentary for Neptune guests. Over here, you're gonna have water and juices. And then they have a very, very small setup here. They're gonna have quite a bit more options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you can come in and maybe have a continental breakfast or small bites throughout the day here. Now, Holland has really doubled down on entertainment with the Koenigsdam. You have a musical theme throughout, and I love the idea that they've really focused on what their cruisers love. Food with all the incredible venues, of course, and live entertainment. So this is the first of the major entertainment zones that we're gonna check out here on board. And World Stage is unlike anything else that has been created in the industry. So you have stadium style seating all the way up and around, but what you have in the middle is a round circular stage with seats that wrap almost all the way around the back. And another interesting feature is how high tech this place is. So wrapped all the way around, all that black area you see, it's all LED screens. It continues all the way up to the back. So what you're gonna get is that combination of interaction of the digital technical world. And then of course the incredible entertainers, entertainers they have here on board. They're gonna have their marquee shows where they're designed specifically for this theater. In addition to that, they have phenomenal lectures. They're all about the education. I like that you can utilize here that throughout the day, and then later on in the evening, come back for entertainment. They're gonna have world-class musicians, also fantastic singers, dancers, comedians. They'll bring on acts as well, depending on how long your cruise is. The shorter cruises, they do a little bit more of the theatrical style. When you have a longer cruise, they really mix and match. If you love live entertainment and the combination of a high-tech entertainment zone, you're gonna love the world stage and all of the different music and theater venues here on board. As we head aft on the ship, next up is the casino. So it's a large casino here on board. If you love to gamble while you're on vacation, this is a perfect spot for it. You've got all the table games here, blackjack, different kinds of pokers. You're also gonna have three card poker as well. Over on the side, you have craps. And then as you walk around, you're gonna find a ton of different slot machine options. They've got the multiple game options as well. They do that paradise lotto every single night. And then over in the corner, you're gonna find the bar. So the bar itself is gonna provide service for the entire casino. Of course, you can grab a seat at the bar as well. On this side, you're gonna find they have Texas Hold'em right here. It is machine dealt. I'll be honest, I always prefer a little bit of hand dealt, but I love that I can play here on board. And then as we continue a little further back, you're gonna find more of the different slot machine games. They've got traditional, they've got some of the new age ones as well. And it wraps all the way around the corner where you're gonna find the cashier. Now, as we continue to head aft, you're gonna have the art gallery. This is where you can have portraits professionally done if you wanna do that on board. And then as we continue further back, it's all retail along here. So this is the first set of retail that we'll really encounter. You've got the sundry shop over there. You can also get alcohol and tobacco. And one of the reasons people do that on board a cruise ship is that it's duty free. So oftentimes a large part of the cost of a lot of goods is the duty or the tax. So you don't have to pay that here because you're shopping in international waters. Now you see you have more shops here. You've got got high-end jewelry, different kinds of retail. So you've got clothing. I see clothing from Chico in there. And then you're also going to take advantage of their partnership with Effie. Now the shops over here is where you're going to find all of your favorite Holland America logo gear. If you want any of the damn items that they have in there, and they've got a lot of damn items in there. In fact, that's what they say because all the ships end in damn, of course. But you can pick from all those. You can get a damn coffee mug or, well, any of the different shirts, t-shirts, sweatshirts. And then they have more jewelry in there as well. Now, right here in the middle is one of my favorite venues on any cruise ship. This is BB Kings and Lincoln Center Stage. So we're on the top level here. It's really a bit of overflow seating. So you can sit up here and look down. There's some bar style seating, a large couch there, and then seats on the, on the side. Now this venue is gonna convert back and forth. Lincoln Center Stage is when they're gonna have like chamber music, different kinds of classical music. One of my favorites is when they did classical interpretations of movie theme songs, for example. And then it, later in the evening, it's gonna turn into BB Kings. We're gonna get down there in just a second. I'll talk more about what that's all about. But you can see from here, it is an absolutely stunning multi-level venue. Now in the middle of the ship, you're gonna find the central atrium area. And the first spot that we're gonna encounter is the Grand Dutch Cafe. So it's beautifully decorated. You've got that Delft blue everywhere. It's got the blue and white themes. You're also gonna have those orange hints from of course, the Dutch flag. Right in the middle there is the top level of the atrium. So it's three levels. It goes down below. You've got some of the specialty restaurants and then shore excursions down at the bottom. Now all throughout here, you're gonna have different styles of seating. So you've got the low tops here, tables for two and four. You've got a little alcove there where you're gonna have more seating. And you also have the high bar style seating as well. 
Now this is the central coffee shop. So it's where you're gonna come get a nice cup of coffee in the morning. It's also a full bar setup as well. So you can get beer and wine. But what I really like that they've done with this particular venue is they've added in a great food menu. So the drinks are a different cost, but the food is complimentary. So just a couple of items from the menu to point out. It's really like dining in Amsterdam. So you've got the Dutch pea soup, you've got sandwiches, of course that classic toasted ham and cheese that's gonna be, well, the Edam cheese, I'm so ready for that. You've got different kinds of things that you can have. It's open from 11.30 till eight every day. So it's kind of that snack menu, or you can dine here as well. They also have some of my favorite Dutch specialties right here. I love licorice. I'm gonna come back for you in just a minute. Now, as we continue through the space, you've got a little bit more seating tucked around in the corner there. And then we're gonna head across to guest services. So there's a stairway that goes down and connects the floors right here. And then on the far side over there, you're gonna find the guest services desk. So one of the things that you can do if you wanna enhance your experience on board here is pay for the Club Orange upgrade. Of course, Neptune Suites and above get those anyways, but if you book another room or suite and you wanna enhance your experience, you can pay a per diem price. You do that before you get on board. One of the perks is that you have your own line here at guest services. You're gonna have specialty dining experience in the Club Orange dining room and also different kinds of expedited embarkation, debarkation, and different events here on board. Now this is the guest services desk. The pursers here are gonna take care of everything to do with money, your account, anything along those lines. If you have any questions or needs, you can utilize them. Now keep in mind, if you're in one of the Neptune suites or higher, you can use the concierge in the Neptune lounge to take care of those details as well. The very first day, very last day of the cruise, this always gets to be a little bit more crowded. So if you do have business to tend to, I recommend that you do it on days separate from that. Tuck just to the side, you're gonna find the future cruise desk. The best place to book your next cruise is right here while you're on board, having an incredible time. They have different promotions that you can only get here on board. It combines with all the other promotions that they're having back at home. And then of course, as your travel advisor, once you book on board, we're gonna get that notification and we'll take care of every single detail from there on out. Make sure you let us know as soon as you get back and we can put together your next cruise vacation of a lifetime together. Now on deck three, you have the promenade. This is one of the most classic cruise ship items that you can have on any ship. I love that it wraps all the way around the back here. You get those incredible aft views. This is a perfect place to be if you're in a scenic cruising area, but I love that you can walk all the way around. In fact, I remember taking my daughter on board Holland America when she was about six, seven months old. I'd strap her onto the front of me. We'd walk all the way around. It was a readily calming, cool and relaxed way to enjoy our day. And then I'll also sometimes set up shop and grab a seat on the promenade. And this is that perfect place where you can sit and relax when you're at sea. Now, Holland America has dedicated a ton of time, money, and energy into the culinary aspect of your cruise. They have the Culinary Council, some of the best known chefs throughout the entire world that consult with them. They create different dining options here on board, whether it's a specialty or a signature dish right here in the main dining room. Now, this looks unlike anything else that Holland has ever built. Of course, they've always had those two level dining rooms. You see that classic feel there. You've got the beautiful Venetian glass on the ceiling, but it's really that high design that you'll notice in here right away. They've got these beautiful architectural features here and they have a massive open space in the middle of the restaurant. They also have some great seating in the aft as well where you get those amazing ocean views. Now what I love about cruising is it's that time to try new things. They have all your classic favorites on here, steak, chicken, fish, things along those lines, but you can also mix it up. Some of my favorite things that I've ever had, I tried for the first time on a cruise ship. I may not have had the confidence to order them at home at a restaurant, but here on board, you can try whatever you want, have as much of it as you would like, and really make your vacation exactly what you want. Now towards the back of the dining room here, they have a massive wine tower. If you're a venophile, you're sure to have an incredible time here on board the Koenigsdam. They have an amazing wine list. They have incredible sommeliers that can pair up your drink with your meal to create a perfect dining experience. So once again here, you have a large main dining room, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, two stories with the seating up above looking down below. And then right here on the tables, one of the things that I wanted to point out is that of course, Holland America has always had a partnership with Royal Delft. That's that beautiful blue and white design that you're gonna find here from Delft in the Netherlands. I love that they utilize that here throughout the dining room and it's actually designed specifically for Holland America. So they take the best of Dutch cuisine, cuisine from all over the world, they meld it together to create a fantastic dining experience. This is sure to delight you and enjoy throughout your stay. 
Now, if you love to rock out, you're sure to enjoy the Rolling Stone Rock Room. This is a partnership Holland America has with Rolling Stone Magazine, where essentially you get to take a little trip through the history of rock. So what you're gonna find in here is you got a nice large lounge space. This is all part of that music walk experience with BB Kings, Billboard on Board, and Rolling Stone Rock Room. You got right up there the large stage. You're gonna have a five piece band up there. Can't have rock and roll without a Hammond organ as you got one over in the corner. But what this is, is about taking a trip through rock history, through the pages of Rolling Stone Magazine over the last several decades. And of course, they've got a world-class bar as well. So you can see a little bit more of the seating here. You've got the bench seating all the way around the sides. You've got the bar just behind me here. One of those fantastic venues where you can hop around and enjoy different kinds of live music. This beautiful venue is the combination of BB King's Blues Club and Lincoln Center Stage. You have a huge dance floor here in the middle. The very first time I participated in BB King's Blues Club was on board the Westerdam. Everybody loved it. I was blown away. I love that they bring the musicians in from Memphis. It's just like you're out on a night on the town in Memphis. You're gonna have incredible favorite hits from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. They'll rock out right up here on stage with a huge band and multiple singers. They'll do several sets each and every single night. Now all around here you're going to find different lounge seating. So you've got seating right along the dance floor and then there's another level up so everybody can see. You've got seating on both sides there, chairs and tables as well as larger booths. Now they also use this for Lincoln Center Stage. So this is a classical music venue. This is all part of their signature music walk. So right next to us is gonna be Billboard On Board in addition to the Rolling Stone Rock Room. So you can go out each and every single evening, have a ton of options for live entertainment. The musicians are top quality as well. I was blown away on my last cruise and I can't wait to get back on board and enjoy their live music. They know that their customers want good food, fantastic music, great entertainment, and this venue is one of the ones that really truly delivers. They've had great success with BB Kings on their other ships. It's on all of the ships or will be very soon. And you can see why people love this particular venue. It's twice as big. It's got the upstairs level as well. You've got the huge stage in the middle and absolutely beautiful decor. The final music venue we're gonna take you through is Billboard On Board. This is meant to highlight Billboard's top hits over the last 50 years. They're gonna do different themes each and every night, but what I love about this is it's a dueling piano concept. So if you've ever experienced that on land or at sea, it's a ton of fun together. They're gonna have seating wrapped all the way around the pianos. You could do special requests. They're also gonna have kind of shows where it's already set up with different themes like British Invasions, one of my all time favorites here. You've got lots of different seating areas. So you've got the booth seating here. You've got the low top tables. Of course, you can sit up at the full bar. They've got quite a few different beer options on tap. But what I love about this entire concept is that people, including me, who go on cruises love live music. And in the past, you've had a lot of not so great live music on board cruise ships. Holland has really changed that here with the Music Walk. You have top quality musicians, you have incredible shows and a fun time for everyone. And I love that you can mix and match. You can start off at BB Kings, maybe rock out in the rock room and come back here for your favorite 50s hits. And then of course, check out the, the world stage as well, which is one of the most high tech and unique entertainment options on the high seas. So if you love music, you're sure to love your time here on the Koenigsdam. Now, if you love whiskey like I love whiskey, you definitely want to stop by Notes. They have a huge collection here. They'll do all kinds of different tastings so you can set up, get a flight of whiskey, learn a little bit more about it, and taste some absolute deliciousness. You can see they have a huge variety here behind me. This is that spot if you love different kinds of Scotch whiskeys. They have a wide variety of those in addition to Irish whiskeys as well. Now down on level two, there's a ton of retail here as well. You've got the perfumery just around the corner there. And then here's where you're gonna find the partnership with Effie. They have a ton of high-end jewelry, watches for you to choose from. Maybe you do great in the casino or you just wanna sp spoil your spouse. This is a great place to stop by. Now keep in mind, once again, it's all duty free here. You can see all the different watches there. I'm sure I'll find Taylor in there a little bit later. And then finally, we get to the high-end Effie store. So this is where you're gonna find top quality jewelry. They'll do a private setting with you of course, and then they also have that partnership with Marabella. You'll see more of that as well. Now this is the entry sign for BB Kings. You can see that we've just watched, walked past it. You've got in from there, and then you can also sit up on the top floor and watch. This has been a tremendous success, and I can't wait for you to check it out and enjoy on board. 
Now we're inside the Pinnacle Grill. Now this is Holland America's original specialty restaurant. It's an unapologetic steakhouse. They have absolutely delicious cuts of meat in here. You have a wide variety of high quality appetizers. And then as you move through your dishes, you're gonna love the different steak options. Now they do have fish and other land options as well if you wanna try it out. But what this is really all about is that steakhouse style dining. You see you have bench seating, booth seating over in the corner there. You've got tables for two, four, and they can put them together for larger groups as well. This is generally the most popular of all the specialty restaurants on board. So I highly recommend that you reserve your time as soon as you get on board the ship. It's a really large restaurant. In fact, I think it is the largest of the specialty dining restaurants. It sits right looking over the atrium. You've got a huge wall of wine as well. They can pair that up with you to make a beautiful meal with wine paired with, well, one of the beautiful cuts of steak. Now, as we continue through the space here, I just wanted to mention once again, that there's lots of specialty options here on board, more than any other Holland America ship ever built. They do have some great specialty dining packages. They also have some great packages that you can pre-purchase as you go that are gonna include some specialty dining and gratuity options as your travel advisor will work through all those details for you. Now, just behind me is the main atrium. It's a three-story affair. Down on deck one is where you're gonna find the shore excursions desk. So that's just below me here. It's also where you're gonna find all of the different conference rooms. Now, keep in mind, if you have Club Orange, you're gonna have your own line for shore excursions in addition to at the guest services desk. So as we walk to the other side of the atrium, we're gonna find the ocean bar. They've got a full bar set up here where they'll provide service throughout. It's one of those classic venues to find people before or after dinner. What's unique about this particular one is you have a small casino right here in the middle, and then it continues on to the other side where you're gonna have a piano and a small dance floor area. So once again, this is a place to grab a drink with friends before or after dinner or enjoy late into the evening. Now, one of the delicious specialty options here on board is Rudy's Cell de Mer. I love that on this particular category of ship, they gave it its own space. They had a bit of a pop-up restaurant on some of the other ships, but this is where you're gonna find culinary delights from Chef Rudy Sodamine. Now he's part of Holland America's Culinary Council. He's been around for quite some time, an incredible chef, and he's worked in the cruise industry as well, and I've been lucky enough to have a lot of his delicious food. So in here, you're gonna find some great options from the land and from the sea, whether you want duck or those incredible crab legs, coca vine, they are gonna have it here. So this is a very elegant, upscale option that you can enjoy while you're here on board the Koenigsdam. Now a venue that debuted here on board the Koenigsdam is Blend. This is a wine tasting experience, but it goes beyond that. They have a partnership with Chateau Saint-Michel Wineries. And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna learn about wine and you can even make your own blend that you take home with you. So you can see here, you've got the high top table where they've got it set up for the wine tasting right now. I love that you can combine a little bit of education I love to taste wine myself. You can make your own. I really think that it's a great educational and enrichment experience that, well, it's pretty delicious as well. Now this beautiful space is the Club Orange Dining Room. So if you're in a Neptune suite or higher, you can have breakfast and dinner here every single day. What it is is an elevated specialty dining experience. So what you're gonna have in here is breakfast made to order each and every single day for you. And then dinner, they're gonna rotate that menu as well. It's a specialty dining experience. They use higher quality ingredients. It's gonna have different level of service than you'll have in the main dining. It's a really big upgrade. Now keep in mind, whatever cabin category you're staying in here on board, you can pay to upgrade for this experience as well. You pay a per diem before the cruise that you're basically gonna get breakfast and dinner in here. In addition to that, you're gonna get priority embarkation, disembarkation. There's quite a few other benefits and I like that you can choose to do that. Now, when this particular space was built, it was actually the Culinary Arts Center. So it was where they would use it kind of as a test kitchen where you would learn how to cook. They have since discontinued that, but because it was set up for that, you have that beautiful open kitchen over there to the side. You can have all kinds of different table options. You've got the high top tables here. You've got the low tops where we walked in for two, four, six. Of course, they can put it together for a larger group as well. Now tucked just around the corner here is the wine room. They have another incredible collection of wine here. So your sommelier can pair it up for you. So you can have an incredible dining and drinking experience each and every single day here in the Club Orange dining room. 
Now Holland has several different conference room options that you can take advantage of. Here you can see they have all the AV, a massive TV screen over there. This is set up in a conference style. They also have classroom style and these doors open up so you can mix and match together. Uh, you may want to consider Holland America for your next group or incentive trip, whether you're doing quilting or you're doing some continuing education. They do a great job providing an incredible experience for every member of the family. So you can sit here, learn, grow, educate, and then go out and enjoy incredible music, delicious food, and fantastic entertainment. First off, thank you so much for spending your time with us today, and I hope you enjoyed our tour of this incredible vessel all of the amazing live music venues. I'm here in BB Kings and Lincoln Center stage right now, Rolling Stone Rock Room, Billboard On Board, the World Stage, and all the other entertainment, along with the amazing food. They've really gone all in, and I think that Holland's hit it out of the park to make the perfect ship for their customers. So when you're ready to rock out, dine like a king or queen, of course, this is the Koenigsdam, the Dutch word for king. You wanna hang out with Queen Maxima, the queen of, uh, the Queen of Holland is, of course, the godmother here on board. Make sure you let Har Travel know. You can book your next cruise right on hartravel.com. Work with one of our advisors to craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime at an incredible value with the Har Travel Signature Service every step of the way. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to rock out.